Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with cache and this may be the last video for Laravel tutorial. Okay, now we are going to use cache because uh, here we use, uh, we get all the posts and for posts we may update the post one a, a day, one time on, we create a one post a day or maybe one post a week. It's a good idea to store the post on cache and then get from the cache which is more quickly instead of the from the post paginate here okay so on the post controller on the index method we use total sign post people with post paginate okay and then we get this but let's use the cache instead of this one i'm going to say if and use the cache facade from the illuminate support facade and I'm going to leave it like this so if the cache has the key post we're going to get the post from the cache otherwise we're going to say post people with post paginate and then cache put post passing the post variable and also the number of seconds so in this case 10 seconds okay now I'm going to remove this line and let's save just to demonstrate that if we are going to get the post from cache or not where if we get the post from a cache it's going to be immediately otherwise i'm going to say sleep here and uh, let's sleep that for uh, four seconds okay now you cannot see if i refresh here it's going to take four seconds for the first time now if i refresh immediately 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 and that is for uh, 10 seconds now just let me wait a little bit for 10 seconds and also i'm going to start here after refreshing here so if i refresh yeah it's going to take some time four seconds as you can see now let's start and wait for 10 seconds so for 10 seconds it's going to get the from the cache as you can see it's very quick but if this is going to be 10 seconds let's stop this and let's refresh now yeah as you can see it's uh, going to take four seconds because we say sleep here four seconds okay now this is one way to get the posts from the cache if not we get posts from post paginate and we put on the cache but we have a new better way with Laravel we can use a cache colon colon and a remember function and in this function we need to add the key the seconds how many seconds we want that to be stored and the callback and I'm going to leave this AI as we can see we have cache remember then the key is post the seconds is 10 seconds and we add a callback and we say return post paginate but here first I'm going to say sleep again I'm going to add this sleep for 4 seconds and now instead of this we can use this one ok so it's more shorter and this is going to return post paginate now we need to assign this to dollar sign post and we are okay so let's save and let's come here for the first time uh, let's see also here I'm going to reset this and let's come and refresh as you can see it's going to take some time here and now let's start for 10 seconds I'm going to wait and if I refresh now yeah we have immediately but if that is going to yeah now if I try is going to take four uh, seconds and then refresh if i refresh again yeah okay friends so that's it how you can use cache now if i open the cache config file we have a default cache store which is database but also we have a support drivers for apc array database file memcached Redis which is very fast and most used 
DynamoDB, Octane, and Node. And by default is database, but you can go to .env file and say cache store to be, for example, Redis. So if I say .env, we have here cache store database. If you want, you can use Redis. You need to install also PHP Redis to use the Redis. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. Now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.